Bruh. This has got to be one of the easiest things on earth to spot, but I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of stuff that I know. I don't know if you do, you probably do, but this is really how it is. The easiest way to spot a hater in plain sight is if you're a very respectable person and you're respected highly in this world by your peers, by people all over the world even. But there's some individuals that might not be doing so hot in their own life and they just don't respect you. They don't show you any respect. In fact, they do the polar opposite. You can tell by their body language, you can tell by the way they speak to you in real life, over text, anything. You can tell they're a hater, bruh. But if you're respected by your peers, if you're respected by a lot of people, loved by many, you'll also be hated by quite a few. And um, it's very easy to tell Especially when you're respected by a bunch of people and then all of a sudden there's just certain individuals that they just cannot find it in them to respect you. They, in fact, they do the opposite. They, they like to tear you down for no reason. Like They like to say negative things. They like to look at you as if you're not who you are. They would rather just be a little envious towards you and look at you funny and say weird things. They want to talk kind of down on you. They want to kind of talk as if they know more than you, but you're much more developed of a person than that, than they are. And this is not coming from a place of ego or me or you being better than anybody else. This is the truth. Like, you're literally above them in life. There's levels to light, bruh. And these are the same people that will shame us for saying this. Oh, you just think you're so good. Oh, this, all that. It's all a bunch of bullshit. They just don't want to respect you because they're a hater. You have no problem with them until they can they, until they do some shit like that. There's no reason to not respect you. You're probably a very respectable person with good morals and values, integrity. You probably have it all. You hit your all your ducks are in a line. And there's not even a lot of people in the world that have all those things. And if you're one of them, it's very easy to spot haters. The more successful you are, the probably more you're going to be hated. Um, this is just the way it goes. And like I said, even the more successful you become, the more you can easily spot haters. Clear as day. It's the easiest thing on earth to spot. They can't hide, bro, how they feel about you. They're going to feel about you some way on the inside. You could literally be sitting next to somebody. They don't have to even look at you. They don't have to say a word. As long as they are in your presence and your vibe, your like your your guys' energy is connected even a little bit, you can feel some type of way about a person. You feel like the person that you're with just feels super uncomfortable. It's because you're in their presence, your energy is very, very, very strong. And they don't like it. They don't like you're highly positive energy. They don't like how good you are on the inside. And they hate how they feel on the inside. They can sense how you feel, bro. They can sense your energy. And they feel like shit because of it. Like, your energy just makes them feel even worse and worse and worse than they already feel. That's why they're going to look at you. in some type of way that's different than others that will respect you because they at least feel good enough on the inside that they can give you your respect. But these individuals cannot. Why? Because they're salty little haters that can't get shit right with themselves. And this is just how it goes. And God bless them, God willing. But in the time being, you must not be around these people, bro. Bad idea. 
a very, very bad idea. It's just going to take from you. It's going to draw a lot of negative energy out of you. Shit don't even feel right making this video. Like you feel it. But this is how they are. Even when I do lives, sometimes there's always one dickhead that comes in. They just say negative things, bro. Like they just feel the need to do it. Why? Because they're haters. They say a lot of dumb, dumb, dumb shit. Everyone else, very respectable. And then the weasels come in and just say such stupid things. It's because they're hating. They can't help it. That's how they feel. That's how you make them feel. So they're going to go off by their feelings. And they're going to say things to try to make you feel lesser than they feel. Because they know deep down inside to their core that you are better than them. They know it. And they don't want to face that fact within themselves. The sad thing is, you're not even a person with this person, bro. They can't stand how you make them feel over the internet while they're alone at home watching you. They still, they, they feel the need to attack you over the internet, bro. That's how sad your haters are. It's pathetic. Something else too, your haters. Very low key haters act a little bit different. They act like they're your friend. The most low key of all haters. They will act like they're your friend. But behind closed doors, they are talking shit on your name, bruh, with other people. They have nothing good to say about you at all, only maybe to your face, only maybe over text messaging or whatever, when they're talking to you, because they're low-key, remember? These people will sometimes ignore you for no reason, just because they feel like doing it for no reason. You could say something and they just flat out ignore what you just said for no reason. And it's just like, the fuck? It's how they are. It's how they've always been. It's just who they are. You make them feel exactly who they are. But they like to live in a delusional la la land and see themselves better than they actually are. So you make them feel what they really are and they don't like it. They would rather continue to live in their fantasy world of what they would like to be, but it's not what they are. And that's why they have a little bit of hate towards you because you're exactly who you are and they're not. They want to be more. They want to be even possibly you. And I don't even know, honestly, if people necessarily want to be you. But when you're the best version of yourself, it makes other people that aren't, not everybody, but the haters, it makes them feel very uncomfortable. It makes them feel, you know, some type of way that is not good. People want to be the best versions of themselves. So whenever you are and they're not, the haters are going to hate. And it's their own fault because they're not willing to put in the work. You must put in the work. You must pay the price. You must put in the grind. That's what life is about. It's about working hard, playing hard. And you have to find your groove. But it's like the haters, bro. They just expose themselves in clear, clear daylight. And they just, they can't find. They can't, they, they can't figure out their ways. So they hate on you because you can figure out your ways. You're doing much better than them. You're, you're much more advanced than they are. These are things they could never admit to, bro. They can't humbly admit these things. Which is why they're exactly where they are. Because they continuously live in this, in this place in their head. That they're further along than they actually are when you're not. You're missing so many steps. 
And unfortunately, your haters are not willing to even take those steps because it's too tough for them. And there's levels to life. There's levels to advancing yourself in life. And it's unfortunate, but some people miss steps and they're not willing to take those. It's like playing a video game and you're at this final boss. Forget about the final boss. You're not even there. You're at somewhere much lower. And you can't beat a part and you, you plan on skipping it. But guess what? It's a part of the game. You can't skip that to advance. You must play that. You must beat that. That's what your haters are not willing to do. You are. They're not. You've done it. They haven't. The fact that you can succeed and advance pisses them off so much. It angers them so they take it out on you by not paying you your respect that you deserve. Other people in the world that are not haters can respect you. They might not even be on your level, but they can still respect you, bro. Because they get it, and they don't take out their shit on other people and be a toxic little dickhead. But your haters can't help it. Haters are going to hate. Because you're great. And they're not. Somebody grab their salt shakers, bro. Everybody comment right now in this video. Bunch of salt shakers for the haters. Put the salt shakers down in the comments section, bruh. Because your haters are hate. They can't help it. And this video pisses them off so much because they know all this is very true. And there's nothing they can say to attack this. There's nothing. The, the, the more you try to attack everything I'm saying, the more stupid you look. And the more you expose yourself as a hater. That's what they don't understand, bro. Like... I don't know what I want to be on earth. The last thing I'd want to be is a fucking hater. And you can say whatever you want. You can do all your shaming. You can say you're back in a bullshit. All you're doing through all your dumbass words that you say for whatever you're going to say. The only really word that you say is I am a hater. I am a little bitch. I am a coward. That's all you say. That's all we see. That is your language. You might think you're fooling somebody or tricking somebody saying some backhanded bullshit. You're fooling nobody but yourself. You hating bitch. That's what you are. That's all you're saying. I am a hater. I can't help it. I'm a hater. That's the shit you say. You clown. Fucking clown world, bro. Who are you fooling? Nobody but yourself. Absolutely nobody but yourself. You do this all the time. That's what your haters don't understand. They think they're smart, bro. You're very low level. They can't even pick up or comprehend on the level that I'm on right now, what I'm saying. They're just going to go down to their little level and say all their little funny shit when it's like, ding, light bulb, ding. You just, you, you're just a hater. Clear as day. You have nothing. Nothing. <laughs> but that's what they are. And as I've stated, they just tell themselves, bruh. They expose themselves. And it's embarrassing. It's a good thing even some of you guys here have these accounts that don't show who you are. Just these anonymous, weird-ass accounts. Because that's what they do. They want to take out all their lives' frustrations on you. Saying some shit when you're just a hater. That, that sucks. That really sucks for you. It sucks that you're that much of a pussy. You say this and you say that, but you know, you're, you're, you're a pussy. They're the most weakest, spineless cowards walking earth. And everything I've already said in this video, this is how you spot a hater. Easy. It's not rocket science. Easy shit, bruh. 
So let's continue on. Keep doing what we're doing. And let the haters hate. If you ain't got haters, you ain't popping off. If you ain't got haters, you ain't doing shit right. You got haters, you're doing the right thing. Keep it up. Rest in peace to the haters.